We're going up the empty stairs. We're here before the convention even started. I'm gonna fall down the stairs because I'm an idiot. Their hearts. It's gay, Sarah. I treat like Johan too. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make it fair. Now, what do you have to say? Look, it's not too bad. That I'm ready to go home. Oh. I'm ready to go back to bed. I want to play Fallout. I don't want to watch you play Fallout. Learn to crochet with me and help me with my blanket. Yeah. I'm not doing that. You're missing out on life, Sarah. Crocheting's hard. Knitting's easy. And knitting's hard. Guess that they're knit one pearl too. <laughs> like, got my needles. I could stab me at any moment. Get a nice safe hook. Can't stab you. And it's as easy as pull the string through a loop and you make a new loop and then pull the string through that loop and you have another loop. Looping it up. Loop, 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 loop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know. When I go home, but they're not letting anyone in the dealer's room. The artist alley instead. Kind of annoying. Cup of coffee. Poured that into the hot water part and then made that coffee into even stronger coffee and you kept doing that? Ew. Do you think you'd get too strong? That'd be disgusting. <laughs> Sometimes coffee is already too strong. No, I was just thinking that and I was like, you know, those little things we took out from the hotel are like already. So like you just slid them in and you made coffee. And I was like, what if you just took that and just kept re-brewing it? And then just took a new fresh one in every couple of brews. It'd be... How strong do you think you can make that cup of coffee? It'd be the same as if you made like a Keurig and then just kept making the Keurig coffee like over and over again. Yeah. <sighs> You're so weird. Um, want to go to my story kind of again now? Yeah, if Johan went, if it was just if us. If Johan drove. Yeah, if it was just us two, I feel like we'd be boring. Because we're boring. I mean, I don't think it was that bad. We just didn't know anything here. If I went again, I'd want to watch some newer animes. Like, that whole Funimation panel was like, we're having season two of this. And I was like, I've never even fucking heard of that. Like, yeah. where the fuck did this come from? D. Grayman's really good, though, so we should watch that. And, um... Oh, I might not want to come for the whole weekend. I think Why? I, I think I just want to come up for like, like Saturday, Sunday, or something. Sunday? Why Sunday? There's nothing going on. Yeah, on Friday there was really nothing going on either. Yeah, there was. I think Friday, Saturday. A bag of cheap. Now we're gonna see what's in it. I think it's manga. It's always manga. It's always manga. Um. At least it's book one. Yeah, I've never even heard of that before. Dude, they're all book one. I hate it when you get book like 57. Yeah, that's annoying. What am I supposed to do with this? Okay. Three mangas I've never heard of. No, I mean... What was this one called? Bag of Awesome? Yeah, something like that. Got nice and stapled together. So you ruin it when you try to open it. I guess I'll work on that. Is that the only thing that was in there? No. Two of the same posters? That better yes. that better count for one. It's not even a poster, that's like display. An advertisement? 
Oh, the cute little mask. The dogs. Too bad we don't like dogs. We like dogs, we just don't like them as much as cats. We should have bought two of these. Why? So I could have had one and you could have had one. Because cause you always pick the bad grab bags. $30, that's not bad. I don't, I don't know what this is though. I don't either. We could sell it. <laughs> That's it. Yep. They counted. Just well, two of the four. same posters. It's four to five items. I'm never letting Elise pick a grab bag again. She always picks bad ones. They probably all were like that. I don't know why you do this every single fucking time I pick a grab bag. Because every single time you do it, you, it's bad stuff. They're probably all bad. Finally, after we stopped at. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is my face. <laughs> After we stopped, <laughs> shut up! Ah! We we stopped at uh, Mansfield Reformatory. It was not spooky at all. I'm a little disappointed. So anyway, we're gonna talk about Matsuri Khan now. So Elise, do you think that you would go back? Um, not if it's just us. We had a big group. Yeah, we're boring people. Anyway. <laughs> I kind of liked Matsuri Khan. I definitely appreciate Colossal Khan now, though. Uh, I don't know, I just feel like Matsuri isn't... It doesn't really feel like a convention to me. No, it did. It like like it, it was like a convention, but it didn't feel like the same community as Colossal. I don't know. I don't know. And it came with this thing. I have no idea what it is. I, I don't know. This, this thing with girls on it. This. You should take them out. Secret base ultimate battle. That's pretty impressive. I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. It says on the side, Sarah. This is Skull B. Yeah, but I don't even know what it is! <laughs> and this is our knockoff video. Fate? I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Um. And the other one that I'm not so upset about is these mangas in the bag of cheap. Toko Devil's Awaken. Oh, wait, no. Here, I'm gonna be okay. I don't know. And then Centennial. I don't know what anime it's from. I'm sure. This nice fan to cool us off. Two of these posters. The same poster. The same poster. And this mask that we're probably not ever gonna wear. So, yep. Oh yeah, and then we got these little ecosystems like everybody else in the whole convention got. Uh, we're gonna wear it to work tomorrow. See what kind of stairs we could get. Um, and I got ID'd for lottery tickets. Which I think is bullshit. Uh, spent a lot of money on food because pretty much all we did was eat. Uh, yeah. See you next time, guys! <laughs>